In this lecture, we will discuss about another phylum of kingdom animalia that is phylum Arthropoda. Basically, Arthropoda is the combination of two words. Arthro, Arthro means joints and Poda. Poda is derived from pods. Pods mean appendages. So, Arthropoda means jointed appendages. So, the organisms with jointed legs or jointed appendages are included in phylum Arthropoda. Zalata is me vovale organisms mojude that have jointed legs. This is the largest phylum of kingdom animalia. Kingdom animalia ka vertebrates me se, invertebrates me se, subse largest jo phylum hai that is phylum Arthropoda. Because is me subse zada organisms hai mo mojude. Earth cuper subse zada hai insects mojude. And all the insects are included in phylum Arthropoda. That is why this is the largest phylum. We will discuss about some major properties. First property is organization. Their organization is triploblastic. It means that they have three major body walls including endoderm, ectoderm and mesoderm. Next property is their symmetry. They have bilateral symmetry. Bilateral symmetry as we have already discussed that this is the symmetry in which an organism can be divided into two equal parts only by cutting it in one axis. Next is segmentation. They are segmented animals. These segmented animals are. Matlab, in ki body jo hai, wo segments mein divide hoti hai aur har segment jo hai, wo dusre segment ke saath attached hota hai. And uh, means of attachment is chitin. Each segment is attached with the help of chitinous cuticle. And this cuticle is flexible and thin. That helps in the locomotion of organism. Next property is their habitat. They live on earth. They also live in water. Means they are uh, also aquatic. And aquatic may be ye fresh water. Bhi ho sakte hai, kuch in mein se marine, bhi, marine bhi hai. They can also fly and visit air periodically. Like earth where any wale jo hai, wo hai, crabs, lobsters, vagera, water mein rehne wale hai, cyclops. And flying insects to bohut zada hai, jaise butterflies, beetles, mosquitoes, wasp, dragonfly, ladybird, etc. On the basis of their habitat, there is a structural variability between different organisms present in phylum Arthropoda. Isme se kuch organisms jo hai, wo warm like hain, jinme kide uh, mukore shamil hain. Warm like centipedes. While some are flying insects. Some are warm like, some are flying insects. And the flying insects have three distinct body parts. The interior region is head. In the middle, there is a thorax region. And the last of all is abdomen. Next is their body covering. As we have already discussed that the organism is covered with a special layer that is chitinous cuticle so they have chitinous cuticle layer over their whole body that protect it from various harsh conditions like temperature this chitinous cuticle is secreted by epidermis that is a layer of organism next structure is their silome silome is also called body cavity they don't have true silom. In me true silom, true body cavity jo hai wo mujood nahi hoti hai. Balke, matlab main body cavity ke tor pe silom mujood nahi hoti hai. Ye main body cavity nahi hoti. Balke, ek special tarang ki cavity hai that is called hemoseal. Hemoseal is basically a reduced silom that communicates with blood vascular system. Blood vascular system ke saath bhi communicate karti hai aur body cavity ke tor bhi act karti hai that is why it is called hemoseal. Next is their digestive system. They have tube like digestive system means a digestive system with two openings one acts as mouth and second acts as anus. Digestive system ki arthropods mein ye speciality hai that it is divided into different parts in each part performing a specific function. Digestive system is called different parts may divide hote or har function har part jo hai wo apna ek specific uh, function jo hai wo perform karta hai 
और इनकी फूड जो है दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ स्मॉल प्लांट एंड स्मॉल एनिमल्स एक्सक्रीटरी सिस्टम दे हैव स्पेशलाइज ट्यूबुलर सिस्टम दैट इज कॉल्ड मेलपीगियन ट्यूब्यूल्स दैट एक्ट एज द एक्सक्रीटरी सिस्टम इन आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स एक्सक्रीटरी वेस्ट इनमें या नाइट्रोजीनस वेस्ट जो है वो क्या होता है दैट इज यूरिक एसिड and this is the least toxic form of nitrogen containing waste and requires a very little amount of water to be excreted next is the nervous system so they have highly developed nervous system in the form of simple brain and it may also consist of paired ganglia aur isi ganglia mein se jo hai wo nerves arise hoti hain that extend to the various parts of the body as we know that they are segmented organisms so ganglion is present in each segment of the body har segment mein ek septer jo hai wo ganglia maujood hota hai aur isi ganglia se jo hai wo nerves arise hoti hain that extend throughout the body sensory organs ki baat ki jaye to they have eyes and eyes are basically compound eyes with antenna complexes and eyes are in the form of pair a pair of compound eyes with an antenna act as sensory organs in arthropods next is the respiratory system so aquatic arthropods have a very specific respiratory system that is called tracheal system tracheal system mein basically specialized tubules hoti hain that are called trachea aur trachea ke through jo hai wo gaseous exchange hoti hai main tubes open to the exterior through special openings called spiracles jo main uh, tracheal tubes hoti hain wo exterior environment mein jo hai wo special openings ke through gases ko jo hai wo inhale exhale karti hain and that openings are called spiracles other structures for respiration are gills and book lungs next system is circulatory system blood circulatory system in case of arthropods is very unique ये बहुत यूनिक होता है और इसके रीजन जो है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो ये ओपन टाइप होता है एज यू नो दैट सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इज ऑफ टू टाइप ओपन एंड क्लोज इन केस ऑफ आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स इट इज ऑफ ओपन टाइप मींस इट कंटेन साइनस दैट दैट आर द कैविटीज थ्रू विच ब्लड पासिस थ्रू आउट द बॉडी ये यूनिक इसलिए बिकॉज इट ऑल्सो हैव अ प्रिमिटिव हार्ट दैट इज रैदर सिंपल बट इसकी बिगनिंग यहां से होती है दैट इज वाई देयर सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इज यूनिक नाउ देयर ब्लड ब्लड ऑफ आर्थ्रोपोर्ट इज कॉल्ड हीमोलिम्फ एंड इट इज बेसिकली कलरलेस वाई इट इज कलरलेस बिकॉज द ब्लड ऑफ आर्थ्रोपोर्ट इज विदाउट हीमोग्लोबिन हीमोग्लोबिन ना होने की वजह से इनका ब्लड जो है वो कलरलेस होता है दैट इज वाई देयर ब्लड इज कॉल्ड हीमोलिम्फ next system is their skeletal system so they have exoskeleton type of system and their exoskeleton consist of a chitinous cuticle this chitinous cuticle consist of a chitin that is non living and non cellular it provides protection to them their exoskeleton also helps them to adapt to the wide variety of habitats kyunki ki habitat jo hai wo mukhtalif qisam ki hoti hai some are aquatic some are land terrestrial uh, while some also fly in air so overcome friction in various surfaces they have cuticle for their protection now the reproduction they do sexual type of reproduction and their sexes are separate they also exhibit a very important phenomenon that is called metamorphosis metamorphosis means meta means many and morphs mean shapes means the process of occupying different shapes during the developmental stage is called metamorphosis metamorphosis is an abrupt change of form or structure during a life cycle in me different jo hai wo metamorphs hoti hain it include first of all jo hai wo inme jo structure banta hai that is egg then it converts into larva larval stage then pupa and then adult so these four major life stages exist in arthropods inka jo larva hota hai wo almost jo hai wo adult ke jaisa nazar aata hai therefore their larval stage is also called nymph 
और मे बी इंस्टर और ये उसी हैबिटेट में रहता है जिस हैबिटेट में जो है वो एडल्ट एग्जिस्ट करता है नेक्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स को फर्दर जो है वो फोर क्लासेस में डिवाइड किया गया है विच इंक्लूड क्लास क्रस्टिशिया क्लास इंसेक्टा क्लास एरेक्नीडा एंड क्लास मारियापोडा सो दीज आर फोर मेन क्लासेस ऑफ आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स द फर्स्ट क्लासेस क्लास क्रस्टिशिया इनकी करेक्टरिस्टिक्स में देखी जाए तो सबसे पहले इनकी करेक्टर जो हम डिस्कस करेंगे दैट इज अबाउट हैबिटेट सो दे आर एक्वेटिक मीन्स द लिव इन वाटर एंड हमें पता है कि दो तरह के स्ट्रक्चर्स हैं आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स में रेस्पिरेशन के लिए फर्स्ट आर द गिल्स एंड सेकेंड आर बुक लंग्स बुक लंग्स जो हैं वो रेस्पिरेशन के लिए यूज होते हैं फॉर टेरिस्ट्रल आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स बट फॉर एक्वेटिक आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स दे यूज गिल्स फॉर रेस्पिरेशन सो दे आर एक्वेटिक एंड रेस्पायर थ्रू गिल्स Next, we will discuss the morphology of organisms included in class Crustacea. On dorsal side, the exoskeleton is in the form of carapace. Basically, if this is an organism, uh, this side is basically dorsal side, and this is the lower side is also called ventral side. so on the dorsal side of the body there present a uh, an exoskeleton in the form of carapace carapace ek shell ke form mein like turtles ke upar jis tarah shell uh, present hota hai bilkul isi tarah jo hai wo inke upar ek exoskeleton hard exoskeleton present hota hai for their protection and uh, that exoskeleton is carapace इन क्लास क्रस्टेशिया सिलोम इज रिड्यूस्ड ये प्रॉपर्टी जो है वो हमने जनरल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स में भी पढ़ी थी कि इनमें जो सिलोम होती है बॉडी कैविटी होती है वो प्रॉपर एक ट्रू सिलोम नहीं होती है बल्कि रिड्यूस्ड होती है और उसका फंक्शन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम में भी वो इन्वॉल्व होती है सिलोम इज रिड्यूस्ड एंड इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हीमोसील इसको हीमोसील भी कहा जाता है हीम इज फ्रॉम हीमोग्लोबन एंड सील मीन्स कैविटी और हीम ऑल्सो मीन्स ब्लड बिकॉज इट इज इन्वॉल्व इन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम एज वेल एज इट इज ऑल्सो अ बॉडी कैविटी सो इट इज कॉल्ड हीमोसी देर अपेंडिजेज आर मोडिफाइड फॉर कैप्चरिंग फूड वॉकिंग स्विमिंग रेस्परेशन एंड रिप्रोडक्शन सो जो एडिशनल स्ट्रक्चर्स होते हैं अपेंडिजेज होते हैं इनकी बॉडी में दैट आर यूज फॉर डिफरेंट फंक्शन इंक्लूडिंग कैप्चरिंग फूड वॉकिंग एक्सेट्रा In class Crustacea, sexes are separate. Means they are not hermaphrodite. It uh, it was also the general characteristic of class Arthropods. Now there are some components present in the head region, which include two pairs of antennal appendages that act as sensory organs, two pairs of maxilla that is uh, that is a bone. So उसके भी दो pairs जो है वो present होते हैं. एक और बोन जो है वो यहाँ पे प्रेजेंट होती है दैट इज कॉल्ड मैंडिबल्स कॉल्ड ऑल्सो कॉल्ड जॉज सो ओनली वन पेयर ऑफ मैंडिबल्स इज प्रेजेंट इन हेड रिजन ऑफ क्लास क्रस्टेशिया सो हेयर आर सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स इंक्लूडेड इन क्लास क्रस्टेशिया दिस इज साइक्लोप दिस इज अ क्रैप दिस इज lobsters this is called woodlouse and this is prawn these are included in class crustacea some of them also used as food in many countries like european countries as well as south asian countries prawn uh, is used as a delicious food in many south asian countries next one is class insecta and uh, the most important thing about this class is that it is the largest class of the phylum arthropoda even of the whole kingdom animalia kyunki isme diversity bahut zyada hai animals earth pe sabse zyada jo hai wo insects maujood hain and they are included in class insecta so it is the largest class in kingdom animalia they are found everywhere 
these are the animals that show social behavior with other organisms like humans because they're found everywhere in our homes in our streets next is their morphology इंसेक्ट्स की जो बॉडी होती है उसको थ्री मेन पार्ट्स में जो है वो डिवाइड किया गया है इसके बारे में हमने जनरल करेक्टरिस्टिक में भी पढ़ा था एंड दीज थ्री पार्ट्स आर हेड थॉरिक्स एंड एब्डोमिन फर्स्ट वन इज हेड हेड इज प्लेस्ड वर्टिकली टू द बॉडी मींस हेड जो है वो बॉडी के वर्टिकल साइड पर होता है और हेड के साथ जॉज अटैच होते हैं देट आर यूज फॉर डिफरेंट फंक्शन नेक्स्ट वन इज थॉरिक्स थॉरिक्स के आगे थ्री सेगमेंट्स जो हैं वो यहाँ पे होते हैं फर्स्ट वन इज थ्री पेयर्स ऑफ ज्वाइंटेड लेग्स थ्री पेयर्स होती हैं लेग्स की मीन्स सिक्स लेग्स जो हैं वो टोटल होते हैं थ्री ऑन वन साइड एंड थ्री ऑन एन अदर साइड एंड मैनी ऑफ देम हैव वन टू टू पेयर्स ऑफ विंग्स सम हैव वन एंड सम हैव टू पेयर्स ऑफ विंग्स ऑन द बॉडी लाइक बटरफ्लाई के केस में टू पेयर्स होते हैं बट इन केस ऑफ लेडी बर्ड देर इज ओनली वन पेयर ऑफ विंग प्रेजेंट ऑन द थॉरिक्स रीजन ऑफ द बॉडी द लास्ट रीजन इज एबडोम एबडोम में वेरिंग नंबर ऑफ सेगमेंट्स मौजूद होते हैं सेगमेंटेशन हुई होती है एबडोम की और उन सेगमेंट्स में डिफरेंट बॉडी ऑर्गन जो हैं वो प्रेजेंट होते हैं लाइक रेस्पायरेटरी ऑर्गन सर्कुलेटरी ऑर्गन एक्सेट्रा मॉर्फोलॉजी के बारे में हम बात कर चुके हैं नेक्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट देयर फिजियोलॉजी सो देयर ब्रेन इज फॉर्म बाय फ्यूज गेंगिया गेंगिया फ्यूज फॉर्म में जो है वो मौजूद होते हैं और वही उनका ब्रेन कहलाता है एंड फ्रॉम दैट फ्यूज गेंगिया देर अराइज वेंट्रल डबल नर्व कॉर्ड दैट रन इन टू द बॉडी देयर सेक्सेज आर ऑल्सो सेपरेट लाइक क्लास क्रस्टेशिया दे आर ओवी पेरिस Oviparous is basically a property of producing eggs. In these eggs, then ultimately hatched into a new individual. Class insecta के examples जो है वो बहुत ज़्यादा आसान है क्योंकि इसमें mostly जो है वो हमारे इर्दगिर्द मौजूद insects शामिल हैं जैसा कि butterfly, wasp, dragonfly, ladybird, moths, beetles, etc. so it consists of butterfly you can see that this is a butterfly honey bee red ant house bee lady bird cockroach in grass hopper etc the next class is class arachnida morphology their body has anterior segments and all these anterior segments then fused together and they form a cephalothorax सेगमेंट्स जो हैं वो आपस में फ्यूज होते हैं और उससे एक इंटीरियर रीजन जो है वो बनता है एंड दैट रीजन इज कॉल्ड सिफेलोथोरिक्स देर आर डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स प्रेजेंट इन सिफेलोथोरिक्स दे हैव अ पेयर ऑफ अपेंडिजेस दैट इज कॉल्ड कैलिसेरिया दैट हैव क्लॉज एंड क्लॉज आर यूज फॉर कैप्चरिंग फूड एंड फॉर अदर फंक्शन देन दे हैव दे हैव टू पेयर ऑफ पेडीपॉट्स फोर पेयर ऑफ लेग्स two on each side they have no antenna and no true jaws this was their head region that is also called cephalothorax head plus thorax region so anterior segment mein do cheez aati hain head plus thorax that is called cephalothorax and it includes all these structures next part of their body is abdomen in some animals The abdomen is segmented, and in some it is unsegmented. So both categories are present. In the abdomen region, uh, appendages may be present or may be absent. Eyes they have simple eyes, not compound eyes. If we talk about spider, they have eight eyes at a time, and they are arranged in such a way that it give a panoramic view of the predator. मतलब हर तरफ से उसको जो है वो नजर आ रहा होता है spider को. in all dimensions predator as well as prey they have separate sexes they are also oviparous means they are egg laying lekin metagenesis ka process jo hai wo class arachnida mein absent hai so ye mcq point of view se important hai
Next, their physiology. They respire through gills or some of them respire through lungs, but dead lungs are very specific called book lungs. Excretion, like the general uh, characteristic of arthropods, they excrete with the help of malpighian tubules. There are some organisms. This is a scorpion, spider, ticks, and mite. Tick and mite are basically human as well as other animals' parasites. And at the end, we have class Myriapoda morphology. Their body have large number of segments, and each segment have a separate pair of legs. So there are so many legs present in the organisms included in class Myriapoda. They also have a pair of antenna and a pair of eyes present on their head region that are used as sensory organs. Examples we show So here are some examples. This is millipede and this is a centipede. So millipedes and centipedes are included in class Myriapoda. So you can see that there is a diversity of animals present in phylum arthropoda. Next we will discuss about the general organization of arthropods. Basically arthropods so have a invertebrate evolution may subsist peak per present. Hai. Arthropods have reached the peak of invertebrate evolution. Or is the reason kya? because they have characteristics of higher life forms. Higher life forms ki jo characteristics hai, jo evolved organisms ki characteristics hai, wo in mein mojood hai. That is why they have, uh, they are at the top of the peak of the invertebrate evolution. Or wo characteristics koon si hai? They have bilateral symmetry, triploblastic organization, they have silomic cavity, it means that they are silomates. They have well developed organ systems. So these are all the characteristics of an of a evolved animal. Therefore, they are evolved in vertebrates. Next, we will talk about the adaptations that make them to reach the peak of the invertebrate evolution. Their main achievements are they have chitinous exoskeleton and their locomotory mechanism. These two, two achievements make them adaptive to different habitats. Exoskeleton of arthropods is made up of chitin and chitin is basically a, a polysaccharide. The chitin present in the exoskeleton of arthropods is non-living, non-cellular and this layer of chitin is secreted by underlying epidermis. On the outer surface of arthropods, chitin is a waxy layer that uh, help them to reduce the water loss, also protect their internal organs and also protect them from harsh external conditions. While in some arthropods, it is soft and flexible. Chitinous exoskeleton is soft and flexible in some parts of the body but in other parts it is hard like in jaws. Now this chitinous exoskeleton performs many functions. This chitinous exoskeleton provides protection to the organism against external harsh conditions like temperature from predator and from many other dangers. In addition to providing protection, they also serve as liver for movement of muscles of jointed limbs of arthropods. The chitin that is present in jaws of arthropods help them for biting and crushing of food. Jo bhi prey ye capture karte hai, jaws mein mujood chitin ke through ye usko bite karne aur crush karne mein help karte hai. Chitin also forms lens of compound eyes. Chitin is also present in the capillary organs and organs of defense and offense of many arthropods. Sometimes in young arthropods such as arthropodal larva, 
आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स के जो लार्वल स्टेज होती है उसमें एग्जोस्केलेटन फर्दर डिवेलपमेंट को यंग आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स में जैसा कि आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स के लार्वा में एग्जोस्केलेटन फर्दर डिवेलपमेंट को रोकता है इसलिए उन वो क्या करते हैं दिस शेड देर एग्जोस्केलेटन फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम टू अलाउ द ग्रोथ ऑफ लार्वा वो अपना जो पुराना एग्जोस्केलेटन होता है उसको शेड डाउन करते हैं एंड एक नया और बड़ा शेल जो है वो क्रिएट करते हैं अपने साइज के अकॉर्डिंग और जब साइज और ज्यादा बढ़ता है वो दोबारा से एग्जोस्केलेटन को एक न्यू वन एंड बिगर वन से रिप्लेस करते हैं सो दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ पीरियडिकली शेडिंग ऑफ एग्जोस्केलेटन इज कॉल्ड इक डाइसिस और माउटिंग सो दिस इज वेरी अडेप्टिव मोड बाय आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स दैट हेल्प देम टू डिवेल्प और ग्रो इन अ बिगर साइज इन अ बेटर वे सो द एग्जोस्केलेटन ऑफ काइटन in the arthropods is one of the primary factors in the success of arthropods because it helps them to adapt to the wide variety of habitats their appendages it means uh, the appendages of arthropods are paired and jointed and these appendages help them to adapt various ways of locomotion ye different ways se locomote karte hain jaisa ke kuch arthropods हैं जो फ्लाई करते हैं मीन्स दे फ्लाई इन एयर सम ऑफ देम वॉक क्रीप इवन दे कैन स्विम इन वाटर सो वेरियस मोड्स ऑफ लोकोमोशन ऑल्सो हेल्प देम टू अडेप्ट वेरियस मोड्स ऑफ हैबिटेट इट मीन्स दैट इफ दे कैन फ्लाई दे कैन इन हैबिट इन एयर इफ दे कैन वॉक और क्रीप दे कैन लिव ऑन अ ड्राई लैंड ड्राई कंडीशन and if they can even swim they can live in shallow water next we will uh, discuss the importance of insects there are basically uh, two kinds of insects some insects are harmful while some are very beneficial for humans and other organisms first of all we will discuss the harmful insects first one is anopheles Anopheles is a female mosquito and it transmits plasmodium. Plasmodium is basically a protist and it causes malaria. That is very dangerous infection and uh, it is transmitted by anopheles in humans. Second one is setse fly. This is a setse fly. It transmits trypanosoma. Trypanosoma is basically a protista. and this protist causes a very serious disorder that is called african sleeping sickness it mostly occurs in the region of africa that is why it is called the african sleeping sickness in setse fly transmits trypanosoma that is a protist then we have common house fly gharon mein jo flies hoti hain gharon mein ye bahut zyada aam hoti hain aur ye bahut se jo hai wo germs carry karti hain and when they attach with the food these germs are transmitted to that food and when a human or a man takes in that food it causes cholera hepatitis and other serious disorders they lay eggs on food food vegetables and crops etc and damage them then we have locust लोकस्ट ने जो है वो हिस्ट्री में इंसानों को बहुत ज्यादा नुकसान पहुंचाया है बाय डैमेजिंग देयर ओल्ड क्रॉप्स दे मूव इन लार्ज नंबर फ्रॉम वन कंट्री टू अनदर एंड दे डैमेज स्टैंडिंग क्रॉप्स स्टैंडिंग क्रॉप्स का मतलब है पक्की हुई फसलें जो बिल्कुल खड़ी हुई होती हैं दैट आर रेडी टू बी हार्वेस्टेड लेकिन हार्मफुल इंसेक्ट्स के साथ साथ इंसेक्ट्स में जो है वो बहुत से ऐसे इंसेक्ट्स भी शामिल हैं जो बेनिफिशियल हैं ह्यूमंस के लिए और दूसरे ऑर्गेनिजम्स के लिए वी हैव हनी बी हनी बी से जो है वो हमें हनी मिलता है दैट वी यूज एज अ स्वीटनर एंड वैक्स देन वी हैव सिल्क वॉम सिल्क वॉम से सिल्क जो है वो हमें हासिल होती है दैट इज यूज इन टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्रीज some insects are also scavengers means they feed the dead material dead matter ko ye khate hain jisse jo hai wo important and elements ki recycling hoti hai like recycling of carbon phosphorus etc some insects are predators and 
some beneficial insects preys upon some harmful insects so insano ke liye jo hai ye kuch insects jo predators hain ye helpful hain insects also help in pollination some insect larva are used by fish as food here we discussed about some beneficial as well as some harmful insects